Today on the channel, it's truly time for the main event with WWE main event unboxings. From 151, Rob Van Dam. And from 150, we got Rey Mysterio and the Chase, CM Punk. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE main event unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got CM Punk, Rey Mysterio, and Rob Van Dam. But for all your WWE main event needs and a whole lot more, make sure you end up ringside collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal out there. We know how that goes, of course. And of course, the main event line carries on the tradition of the basics with some new improvement as far as articulation goes. And we've shown that over the last six, eight months. What is time on this very YouTube channel? But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I guess we'll go in order. We'll start with Series 150. We'll start with Rey Mysterio. Of course, Junior at one time, but this one is cool. We've had a lot of Rey Mysterio figures, but whenever we get a flashback throwback WCW Rey Mysterio, I'm here for that, and that's what we got right here. We got Rey in the yellow and black attack. Means only one thing. Oh, Ray rocking the Striper. And Striper just, well, one of the greats, of course, as we do know here on the channel. But uh, look at that, the uh, black and yellow. A little bit of white thrown in there as well. But a very cool throwback, Ray Mysterio. Always do enjoy that. Ray Mysterio, 150, glamour shot. On the back, cross sell down below. Got a little bit of a blurb up top. Got a glamour shot. Ray Mysterio, the old signature move, the old 619. Stone Cold, The Rock, CM Punk, and Lita in this set. Uh, CM Punk, the only one outside of Ray I picked up. I don't think I'm going to get Stone Cold, The Rock, or Lita, at least as of right now. Not on my wish list. But we're going to get Ray out of the package here. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic Prison, a Ray Mysterio plastic prison full of mystery. See you later. Goodbye once again. And we got old Ray out of the package. Love a throwback Ray, as I mentioned. Just very, very cool. Just little old Ray. Just a couple of tattoos at this point. He wasn't crazy tattooed up yet. Uh, just reminds you of the WCW Cruiserweight division. Those matches against, of course, Eddie Guerrero and everybody else. Uh, getting thrown like a lawn dart by Kevin Nash. Just a lot of history with old Ray and WCW. And uh, always thought he was a big talent, a big star. But he went to just another level when, of course, he went to the WWE, as we do know. But looks like Ray in the face here. Uh, you got the white yellow and black in the mask kind of the bird wings on the side we're used to very stoic ray face we've seen it before of course smaller body smaller guy of course ray mysterio tattoos on both arms you got the bicep uh covers over there uh a hallmark of young ray mysterio even to this day i guess as well you got the white wrist tape going on. You got a fist of fury. You got a gripping hand. You got those question marks all over like a young Riddler. He'll keep you guessing, of course. Yellow tights, black and white on there. And then the plain white boots looking very good. Arms all the way around for him. No bicep cut. Single jointed elbow, side to side. Hands removable back forth, side to side. Head removable back forth, side to side. Waist articulation. Those big old mysterious splits right there. Leg does go up. Bend at the knee. Oh, extremely tight, just like the old basics used to be as well. But you do get the bend at the knee. You do get the back and forth on the boot. And that is it as far as articulation goes for our old friend Ray Mysterio. Uh, he should fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. And what do you know? It's not working. It's too tight. It's too tight for little Ray. No, oh my gosh, it is. I can't believe it. I can't believe what we're coming across here. Okay, maybe it was just one boot. Just one boot for whatever reason. Got the other one in there. Just got to work on his holes. Somebody's got to loosen those holes up on Ray. Uh, I heard his son Dominic, when he was in jail, worked on loosening up his holes. That's what he took his time. He sat there. That's what he was up to. Who knows? But there's all Ray. Now we're turning our attention to CM Punk. Uh, first CM Punk figure I got from his return. Of course, we did unbox the defining moments on the channel already, but I actually got this one before that one. Uh, this is, an, of course, a main event. This is the chase one. I actually saw two chases, no regular. I'll find the regular eventually. I'm not too concerned about it. 
There's old CM Punk there. Looking interesting, of course. CM Punk, 150 is the line. Same cross sell. Nothing too fun on the back here. Uh, doesn't even say anything. 150 CM Punk, that's it. Says absolutely nothing about him. So uh, very interesting to see that. No uh, finishing move, nothing like that. So there it goes. CM Punk, see you later. There he is, old plastic prison. Old CM Punk, see you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to CM Punk here. Uh, kind of towards the end, I guess, of the WWE run. Didn't he have those chops maybe a year before he left, two years before he left? What is time? What is leaving? I'm not sure. But he's got the big old chops there that would, Mike, it would uh, make a young Mike Nesmith blush. That's what he would do if he had to. But you got those going on. A very serious face on old CM Punk. A little bit scragglier hair than he wears nowadays as well. You do got the tattoos all over. Unfortunately, tattoos, no color going on. Uh, missing the Pepsi one as well is what it is, I guess, at this point. Now, we do get the gear here. Of course, his gear is the difference that makes it regular and chase. You got the black. You got the red Chicago stars. You got kind of that seafoam green color uh, mixed out throughout down into the boots. Then you got the black knee pads here. Uh, you do got the white wrist tape. You do got the white hand tape. And you do got the X's on the hands for him. Pretty much CM Punk all day long is what we have here. Articulation, don't need to walk through it. It's identical to what we saw with Rey Mysterio. Uh, it's a passable Punk. It's not going to be as good as a defining moment or even other elites, and especially his upcoming Ultimate that we know about. But there's a lot of people getting all the CM Punk figures, especially with him returning back. There's a lot of excitement. People are going to pick this one up, so I definitely get it here. So there's CM Punk back in the mix, part of Main Event 150. It's okay. It's good for what it is. Uh, we'll see if we find uh, the regular edition down the road. And we're going to finish it off with Mr. Monday Night, Rob Dan Dam, one of my all-time favorite performers as a kid, especially back in ECW days. Loving this one. And this one, a bit of a re-release. It was part of like the shirt series, Global Superstars, whatever you wanted to call it. I can't remember what it was, but they had like a shirt series in the basic line, a Walmart exclusive way back when. That's what this one is based off of. Of course, improved, better articulation. You get all the points there. WWE main event at the side, Rob Van Dam, part of Series 151. On the back, cross sell down below, jibber jabber UPCs, Mr. Monday Night right there. Does say finisher, the five star frog splash. Uh, Solo Sokoa, Roman Reigns, Andre Chase, Thea Hale in this line. Don't want Roman, don't need Solo. Already unboxed to Andre Chase, already unboxed Thea Hale. Check out those videos if you didn't miss those. And now we got old Mr. Monday Night, RVD. See you later, goodbye. Plastic Prison, looking good for RVD. See you later, up high, goodbye. And we're getting down to business here. We got Rob Van Dam. Looking a little bit haggard in the face, I will say, but it does look like RVD. Somebody hands me this, I know who it is. Big ponytail in the back, looking very nice. And then, of course, uh, the selling point, or one of them maybe, is the RVD shirt on him right here. Looking good, the yin-yang in the middle against the dragon wings, RVD. Damn, it's good to be back, it says on the back of the shirt. So very cool there. He does got the pink tights, uh, pinkish purplish tights, a little green. You can kind of see where it would connect, obviously covered by the shirt. Would be a very cool elite to get this one with that shirt and soft goods over the top. Uh, I think I would love to have this uh, singlet for RVD in elite form. It's bright, it's colorful. RVD had a lot of good singlets over the years. Would love to see Mattel take advantage of those. We'll see what happens there. Painted on shirt though here, not soft goods, anything like that. Black boots with the RVD, got the yin yang symbol there as well. Black knee pads going on. No elbow pads, but you do get the hand tape in black. You also get the wrist tape in black. Articulation, we don't need to walk through this one either, as uh, we know the articulation by now. Almost can do those Van Damme splits for him right there, though. He's ready to go, RVD. A master of the splits, as we do know. He should also fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand without issue. I am correct. He fits right there. Looking good, old Mr. Monday Night RVD. A very fun one here. Could be a sleeper one in the Mattel main event series. As a lot of people, of course, going to be over at WCW. Rey Mysterio want that in their collection. They're going to want the return to CM Punk. But don't let RVD slip through your fingertips. A very strong performer right here. But these main events, they don't set everybody's world on fire. They're not for everybody. But they're nice little... Um, accompaniments to my collection is how I feel. Sometimes we get looks we don't get in the Elite line and other things. So they are fun to collect, fun to have in my collection. Maybe yours as well. But what's your thoughts on these three? Any of them pickups for you? You pick up any main events lately? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We're going to have more content for you, of course, on Patreon, including early access to both my YouTube channel videos, 
Appreciate the support over there. Check out my book, The Complete Guide to the WWE Jax Class Superstar Series, available, of course, on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and now on Kindle, ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, and then, of course, social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Threads, and on Instagram. So for CM Punk, RVD, and Rey Mysterio, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.